Halftime Howie here. We have a big show coming up as we will focus on preventing bullying, preventing suicide, dealing with depression, anxiety, and some big local issues. But form of bullying that's taken place at my alma mater, where these two young men are uh, students at, Hofstra University, a major, major hazing scandal. And uh, Zach, I know we're going to talk about it in detail. You've been following it for weeks. Yeah, I mean, I actually personally know some of the people who are involved in this scandal, so I can definitely give some good insight. It's really a sad thing to see, especially considering that I know some of these people very well. And Taylor, you're in a fraternity, so I'm sure it's been the talk at Hofstra University. For sure. Um, throughout the Greek life community and through uh, the news classes that we're taking, both Zach and I, uh, you'll never get away from this story, and it's been like national, national news. So uh, stay tuned, and you'll hear some, some deep conversation about it. So folks, bullying and the Hofstra hazing scandal coming up. All right, we uh, have another show, broadcast on the beach with Halftime Howie, live from uh, Poncho's Canteen in Island Park. And to uh, watch the videos, you can see them on the Halftime Howie show on Facebook and Halftime Howie on YouTube and also Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. So, and... Uh, Today's show, again, the main focus is going to be on uh, preventing bullying, preventing suicide, and dealing with depression and anxiety. And Thomasina, uh, talk about ever since you started the uh, Facebook page, um, Communities Against Bullying, what kind of impact has your group had in the community? Right now, our Facebook page has grown. Um, it's, I think we have a little less than a month, or a little over a month maybe, and we have over 600 members. Um, we're starting to get the word out in the schools and um, amongst the students and, and we're seeing a large number of students that want to be involved. So it's, what I'm noticing is kids are, ha have had enough. They don't want to um, deal with the bullying anymore and um, I believe that the community, we need more community involvement. Um, we need more parents to show up at the meetings that we host. Um, so, you know, but the, the general message is, is that people are tired of it and um, you know it, it, we have to come up with something some kind of plan amongst the students and the parents to kind of find an easy way to end it and um, or put a stop to it so that's pretty much what we're dealing with now Michelle I think you guys were off to a great start I think a lot more needs to be done but I think in the brief time you've uh, started it you've made some nice progress yeah, definitely. Um, we 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 done a walk with um, the National Foundation Against um, Suicide um, Out of the Darkness walk. We raised money for that for um, Brandon Carr. And um, like she said, um, the students want to be involved, and we're looking to do a lot of projects next year. Hopefully, we have a lot of community involvement, um, working with the schools. In Long Beach, Point Lookout, um, all the South Shore schools, you know, start local where everyone knows um, everyone and um, hopefully we'll grow from there. Um, again, Island Park, Oceanside, we're just reaching out locally and um, start small and hopefully grow and just get a lot of support from the parents. Mostly the parents' involvement um, is key, I think, because if we can get the parents to show up at meetings and then we'll be able to have them talk to their kids and then we can also work with the schools and ex extend ourselves to the PTA in that sense. I think we'll, we'll grow a lot faster. Yeah, one thing I would like to see, especially here on this show, is um, I'd like a lot of students to come forward and start um, talking about their experiences and what they've gone through. Because um, I feel that uh, the show reaches a lot of people, and the more kids that can come and express their feelings and talk about their experiences, and uh, it can only make a positive difference. I agree. The parental involvement is is very important because a lot of the things, a lot of times, the kids that are bullying see it, but they learn it from home, um, and a lot of parents don't realize it. You know, the way you treat your spouse, or the way you talk to your friends in front of your kids, your kids pick up on those behaviors and they think it's okay and they take it home they take it um, to the schoolyard. And, um, you know, adults, we, we know when we're playing and we're not, and like, you know, sometimes you might joke around with a friend of yours and say some things that are inappropriate, 
but it's amongst friends and they take it that way. You know, it's not no harm, no foul, but your kids don't understand that. So the parental involvement in our program it is, is something that we do need and um, we do ask for a parent support. The only way that we can make a difference is if we, we, we work together and um, that's with parents and students and um, sending a positive message home. Um, you know, a lot, uh, bullying is a learned behavior. You know, kids don't wake up one day and decide that they want to beat everybody up or make people feel bad about themselves. And um, talking to some of the kids that I know that, that have been bullied or that were bullies in the past, it's because of their home, their home life. Um, you know, I'm not placing the blame on people, but you know, that's a lot of where they learn it. And um, you know, in order to stop that behavior, we have to stop it where it starts. And uh, that's, that's the message that we're trying to get out there as well. But also reinforcing positive behavior. Um, you know, kids want to do good. They want to do the right thing. And when they're recognized for doing the right thing, they, they continue to do it and that's something that you know I think needs to be reinforced and um, taught and um, the focus should be on that you know if, if you're constantly focusing on the negative behavior and students getting in trouble in school and then if they're, they're um, punished for that if that's the only attention they're getting then they're going to continue with that behavior if they're getting attention for the positive things that they do like let's say a kid that has a rough home life or maybe be might be in foster care and he's getting positive attention in school, he's gonna to continue to act that way. But if he's constantly getting the negative attention, then he's gonna be act that way because that's the attention that they're receiving. So that's also a message that we're trying to carry out as well. Um, you know, I did sit with um, the principal and the guidance counselors in Island Park Middle School. And um, you know, we're, we're working on becoming a 501c3. So that's something that is, um, once once we become established in that sense, we can go into the schools and work with the schools, and they're very open to us being a part of their programs. Um, but what, there is something that they do in that school which seems to be very successful, and it's um, you get caught doing something good, and the students get a yellow ticket. Um, and at the end of the week, the principal or the staff members pull out one of the name one of the yellow tickets out of the box. And that students get recognized. That student gets recognized on the loudspeaker, and the students cheer for them, and it's like a very positive program, and it seems to be working. Um, and that's that's kind of like what we want to try and, and reinforce is that positive um, outlook and behavior, kindness, compassion, um, things of that nature that you know the kids want and they try and do, but they're not recognized for it, so they're not you know what's the sense of doing it if nobody cares, you know? And that's, you know, when the bad kid is getting all the recognition because he's acting out, then, you know, the kids are gonna kind of gravitate towards that behavior instead of the positive behavior that's getting the good recognition. I, I think that's a great idea.